Hey guys, welcome to Tobias Eats. This week, we're in Old Bridge, New Jersey at V Esposito. Fourth generation Esposito brothers, Anthony and Vincent Esposito Jr. bridge the old world charm and flavors of Italy with the latest cooking trends, local seasonal specialties, and their own unique passion to please your palate. The tradition started with great grandparents who migrated from Italy. The journey now continues from Italy to Brooklyn to New Jersey. The moment you enter Via Spazito, your senses are filled with the abundance of flavors and charm of Italy. Taste the authentic coal-fired pizza, imported cheeses, and cured meats from Italy. All of our dishes, pastas, and fresh mozzarella were homemade today with the finest ingredients. Via. Hey guys, welcome to Tobias Seats. Today, I'm at Via Spazito and I am with UFC fighter Carl Baby K. Robertson. Top Chef contested, Cousin Tyler. So, my brother, what do we got today? What are we doing? All right, so we got a few different pizzas we're gonna be putting into this oven. Okay. Coal fired oven. Yes, it's sir. This 100% no gas, uh, old school. So to start, we got our signature grandma pie, the 18 hour pizza. Okay, So the 18 is, hour pizza. Yes. This takes 18 hours to make. Yes, yes, between oh. the processing and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get that nice fluffiness. It's unbelievable. What do we got, Bob? First things first, we got fresh mozzarella over here. We got some fresh so, mozz. Yep. We're gonna take it and kind of just layer it on. Do like nice, once it melts, it's all gonna kind of form into one. And, It'll look all nice and pretty. Okay. Damn, he said, can I have a piece, man? Come on. He got to, he got to. We're in Rome, right? One I got you, bro, I got you. Woo! Mmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. So what do we got next? What all do right. we got next, Jeff? Now we're gonna turn it on an angle. Okay. You're gonna mix up your sauce a little. Yes, sir. And you're just gonna throw some wines up on Ooh. here. And you're gonna repeat this kind of just make it look all pretty. Mm. Is this is this probably one of your favorite go-tos or? Uh, I would have to say it's on the one of, it's on the top of my list. So you got a lot of time, my brother. You got 18 hours to make this pizza? Oh yeah. Day in and day out, right? Yep. All right, now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this. Oh, nice. Ooh. All right, now it's ready to go in the oven. You <laughs> keep it. You going in the oven? Yep. Yes, sir. In the oven. Hit that up. All right, so we're gonna place it right here. Okay. Because they're already cooked the shells. So, so you were telling me, can we open that back up real quick? You were telling me that because of this particular oven right here, there are certain areas that get too hot, certain areas that aren't hot enough. Why did you pick this spot right here? Okay, so basically there's different sections of the oven. This is the mouth right here. This is the so, mouth? Yes, so basically it's not gonna burn anything. You could kind of just let it sit there okay. and it'll let the cheese melt I and it'll you. crisp up. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Oh man, oh man, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait for this delicious. Via Spazito. Big question for you, Tyler. How long do you have to keep it in here for? Uh, it depends on the temperature. Most of the time, it's about three minutes. And okay. It's in and out. And we're at 700 plus degrees right now. <laughs> oh man, look at that rotation right there. Oh, Unbelievable. Right there. Carl, what is your first thoughts looking at that puppy right there? I want to dive into that. I know yes, it's hot, sir. Dive into right. it. Oh. oh. Now you're gonna take your pesto and just drizzle on top. All right, cool. So what do we got next right now? All right, right now we got a lot of scala. Sweet and savory Italian. Yeah, that's it. Italian style. Love to hear it. It's a white pie. Yes. We got fig. We got baby arugula, baby arugula, and parma prosciutto, and parma prosciutto. That's just that's just gives it that, that nice savory. And then you add that little drizzle of balsamic glaze. Damn, you know it. how we love that drizzle. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. All right. All right, so bro. Do the toss up. You get some over here, and the toss that over the flour. God damn. We're gonna take it up. I heard only top chefs do this. 
<laughs> See what I did there? There we go. There we go. Hey. Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we got going next? All right, so we got some fresh mutts in all right here. Fresh mutts? Take it, just kind of spread it out. Okay. Uh, you have extra cheese because of the fig spread, you said? Yes, being that there's only one topping on top, it's gonna get a little bit of extra cheese. So we're gonna toss some of that. And then we got some fig spread right here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna grab our paddle. Just like so. We're gonna take it, drop it right in the sweet spot. Drop it right in the mouth. In about two minutes, it'll be good. You saw it. Fire. We're about three minutes in right now. And we're gonna pull this puppy out of the oven. Okay. Oh, look at that melt. Maybe arugula. And sprinkle it right on top. Right on top. Hey, you. My friend just made some magic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. We gotta walk over to the slicer. We'll, we'll turn it on. Oh, oh man, he's getting a fat slice real quick. Oh, man. Right, and then the whole thing falls apart. Exactly. You get greasiness. So you just wanna kinda spread it out nice. Now you're gonna come over here. Uh -oh. What about balsamic glaze? Get it with the drizzle. Yes, sir. And that's how we're brought to Scotland. Wow. All right, homeboy. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Yes, sir. Oh, lost it. Uh oh, uh oh. Coming in. All right, coming in hot. Fire. Oh, man. I get that sweet taste right off the rip. And then the prosciutto, the saltiness almost kind of like levels it out. Mm-hmm. Smooth mm. sour, it's a perfect mix. The bread's holding up well to mm -hmm. the juice, too. Home run, Pop. Home run. Definitely my top five. I'm taking another one. <laughs> Woo! Man, oh man. What a day. Yeah. What a day, man. You learned how to make some killer pizza. Yeah. Man. I just want to say thank you for coming on. You know, you are the man, the legend. Thank you. Thank you. you can go ahead and follow him right here. We're going to plug it in. And let's, let's feast, my brother. Let's feast. There we go. So what do you got? Uh, what do you got coming up, sir? Uh, I got a fight in Vegas against uh, Brendan Allen, April twenty fourth. April twenty fourth. Yeah. You got a fight in Vegas? Yeah. I mean, we all know who's gonna win. I mean, I know he. My my boy's humble, but. <laughs> April twenty fourth. Yeah. April twenty fourth. Mmm. Side note. Did you see the clams that they put on here? Yeah, man. This is serious. Mmm. <laughs> Full sets of Via Esposito. Dude, that, that kid, cousin Tyler, kid's talented, man. What was I doing at 15 years old? I was like playing Call of Duty. <laughs> what would you, what would you tell yourself five years ago? Like, like would you change anything? Would you, would you give yourself some advice? The kind of, the kind of advice I give myself is slow down. Slow down. I was so determined to get to one spot that I missed some of the travel. So I missed a lot of experiences. Like I don't remember a lot in the like unless it was like foggy. I was yeah. so locked in to the point that I kind of forgot everything on the outside and didn't enjoy as much as I should have. Wow. But that you were focused though. Yeah. But, you were focused. But you gotta sacrifice some things. That's why I sacrificed. I sacrificed that part of my journey. But slow down, enjoy it and learn. You, do you have any, I know you, you hang out with a lot of people in New Jersey. I mean, do you have any mentors you would say? Yeah. You know, that have really, I guess, helped impact your career? Yeah, I think my biggest mentor, my brother is Corey, and then my other one is Rex. Corey and some Rex here. Shout out to them, follow them right here. You heard it right here. So what do you have plans after? I mean, like, what is your, like, what do you see yourself in like five years? 
five years, I'm seeing myself as a champ. If that's not the goal, why am I champ? Yeah. Said in five years. Probably soon, yeah. Wait, probably way soon. Probably man. way soon. <laughs> we gonna see a champ. So we'll see. We'll be right here. We're gonna call him up. We're gonna be like, champ, listen, now you're the champ champ. Come through twice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I love to see it, dude. I think, I think, I think that you really have what, what it takes. You've always had what it takes. You know, your sheer drive and the way you carry yourself speaks a lot. Yeah, thank you. That's really cool. That's why we always put me on. Dude, and I respect that, dude. It's the man right here. So thanks for coming, my brother. I appreciate you so much. I know you enjoyed the food because there's only two slices left. And the guys filming are absolutely knocking it. So we about to eat this stuff. But I will see you guys on the next one. Tobias Seats approved. Yes, sir.